All right, back at another showing. A little bit of a rainy day today, but that doesn't stop us. So we're at 3105 White Trail Court out here in Chesapeake. Um, very quiet neighborhood. Again, it's a rainy day, people staying inside. But um, as always, let's uh, go on the house and do a little 360 in the neighborhood. So front view of the house, you can see that they converted the uh, garage area um, into a little downstairs area, which is pretty cool. Uh, two car driveway, circle the neighbors. That I've been here for about 10 minutes um, and I've only seen one car go down I've seen a few cars go down over there but still very quiet um, literally have a garden area which is nice yard is kept well somewhat of a porch which is nice going up um, this could be maybe have need to have a railing or something like this for some little ones but you know all right let's head in all right, as soon as we walk in, one thing to point out is, yeah, this. I don't know if it's, like, um, if it's uh, painted. Oh, yeah, it feels like it's painted on there. It doesn't feel like wallpaper, but, yeah, painted all the way up. But two different areas. So this would be, like, more of the office kind of space area, second living room, if you want to say that. This is more of the dining room. Obviously, you can see because the chandelier, but you could obviously push that up because you do have a little kitchen nook over there that you could use that if you don't want to do this. So two offices, maybe dining room over here or over there. Going into a living room, working wood burning fireplace. Decent area, decent size. Definitely can have a very, very long couch, maybe an L-shaped. Some chairs over there too. Um... Windowing, window unit, um, sorry, windows look a little bit new. Um, outside looks almost like a brand new deck as well. Um, if not, maybe not brand new, but within the last, I would say, year. Um, or it's just kept very well, but pretty big as well. And just like the first house we saw um, that I took a video of, um, the one in Suffolk, they made a little ramp into the above ground pool. Above ground pool looks like it's in great condition too. Um, obviously the tarp fell in, so this is sitting in there. But other than that, the sides look great. The pump, uh, that looks a little bit older, but still looks in great shape. Um, so, but, and you got this little patio area that you put a fire pit on um, or whatever. And it, like you can layer some lights around or even build even more and put a cap on it. That'd be an option too. Outside unit right there. Um, it does have a dish, but you can obviously take that off. All right, let's head back into the kitchen. So the first thing I want to point out in the kitchen, dishwasher. <laughs> uh, but yeah, good counter space. I like the look through. Um, this does look like low bearing, but still, if you wanted to, you could open this all up. Uh, Replumb it and then actually make an island right here um, to have even more space if you want to do that. Um, I did pass the one and only uh, coat closet downstairs, which is right there. I'll go ahead and open that up. Good size. Another additional right here. This is an old style intercom system. Um, you can talk throughout the house, and it has a built-in radio and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, microwave. Let's head over to the frog room. So, this could be more of a pantry. I mean, it doesn't have any doors on it. Good shelving, though, but I, that's what I would use it for. Um, laundry room. So, one thing that you could do is, since this frame's here, you could put a door right here, if you wanted to, to uh, try and... Um, uh, shade some of the sound that comes from your laundry uh, if you wanted to if not no big deal um, It looks like they did have an animal at one point in time. So there is a hole in the fire door um, Full-size bathroom on the first floor, which is awesome. So stand up shower Vanity and commotes And it looks a little weathered but just a little some paint And then here's the um downstairs where they converted the two-car garage so pretty cool you got a um 
side heating cooling unit <clears throat> water heater down here yeah but I mean, it, it's it's decent decent temperature in here they got a fan in here so summertime this would be great yeah to put a, a kids playroom or whatever the case would be and then yeah obviously you can walk straight outside from both these doors side door to the side yard and then there's some more of the intercom like i said which is pretty cool so old timing you just push on it you'll be able to um, talk to the person at the door or whatever the case may be but let's head up to the frog room that's this one right here above the garage it's a little dark but ooh. LVP throughout, it doesn't connect though. So some frog rooms, you can go up the stairs and it'll connect with the rest of the upstairs. This one doesn't. Doesn't mean you couldn't do it in the future, maybe see where it lines up uh, and then plug a hole through um, to have two sets of stairs. You could always do that down the road. But um, yeah, another good playroom area, closet right here. That's attic access going through. Another attic access over there as well. Let's head up to the rest of the upstairs. Not sure where that goes to, but possibly upstairs. So let's find out. All right, so as soon as we come upstairs, let's check out on the right first. Seems like all the people that uh, were living here um, left all their TV mounts. That's like the third one we've seen. Um, and they left the nuts and bolts, which is pretty nice. Um, but decent sized room, uh, it really is. Uh, you got a two door folding closet. They also left some filters. But yeah, good, good size, queen size, king size, whatever size bed you have, one, two. Uh, dressers on this side or even put the dresser in the little nook area. So that's definitely a good size room right there. This one on the other hand, a little bit smaller. Well, I would say a lot smaller, probably half the size of the other one. But still, you can have a bed right here or right here facing out. Um, nightstand, dresser up against the wall. Um, but still, like I said, newer windows, which is nice. But same style closet, bifold doors. One shelf, it's missing the bar though, so. Upstairs, full bath. So lower vanity again, good for little ones. Also these um, custom uh, shelves, it's missing just the board. So you just had to push a piece of butcher block going all the way up if you wanted to um, utilize that, but sink. Tub combo. Going into the hallway. So that's gonna be the plumbing shut off to that shower, which is nice. Linen closet, missing one shelf right there. You could even do one beneath that if you wanted to. Just put two boards on each side, put another shelf. All right, then Light's not working in this room, so sorry about that if it's a little dark. But this is the primary bedroom. This is probably a little bit bigger than the first bedroom. I would say maybe the first bedroom ends where this switch is that we saw and goes over. So you get this little bit extra more room. Um, two closets as well. So one closet over here, maybe about four feet wide. Missing the top if you wanted to put one on there, but two bars. Walk-in closet over here. Let's see if it's, yeah, and that, that light is a little dim too, but walk-in closet going down L-shape with even built-in right here for shoes, hats, whatever you want it to be. And then the primary bedrooms, bath. Matching vanity as the one in the hallway, a little bit lower. Commote um, with the combo 
tub and shower. It's all black and um, paint in here. I feel like that's the style that's been going on. Um, there was, it was all black paint in another house too. So, but that's the tour of this one, White Trail 3105. So it's the three bedroom, uh, three bath, which is awesome. So one full downstairs and um, two upstairs. And like I said, the backyard's great big size, newer deck, uh, above ground pool looks very nice. Um, but it's definitely, this one's just maybe a little bit I would say outdated with the kitchen. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, this could be a good option as well. Um, or if you guys have any more questions about this one, let me know. Uh, I'm gonna, as soon as I get in my car, start uploading it to YouTube. So hopefully we'll be in there within the next couple hours. Um, and if anything, for everyone else that's watching my YouTubes, as always, reach out to me. If you need help buying a house, here in Hampton Roads or the surrounding cities, love to lend a hand. You always know who to call. Come by with Ty. All right. Appreciate you guys. Bye.